This presentation will help you to find out all there is to know about the interactive computerized assessment system, INCAS. What makes INCAS different to other assessments? You can use the INCAS program to assess students from year 1 right through to year 10. INCAS builds up a longitudinal profile of students, allowing you to view individual progress over time. You can also use INCAS to monitor trends across your school. The assessment adapts to the ability of your students. You enter their date of birth and it begins at a level appropriate to their age, then adjusts the difficulty of the questions according to student responses. You can assess whole groups if you have a computer lab and a network, cutting down on the time it takes to administer the assessment, and your data will be available for you within 24 hours of upload. What can I assess? Teachers can choose to profile students on different skills and components. There are components which cover different reading skills and math skills, components that cover developed ability or the capacity of the student to learn at that time, and a scale to measure students' attitudes to reading, maths and school. Let's take a look at some examples from the program. Word recognition requires students to select the representation of a word from those shown on the screen. Now, try these. Hole. I have just eaten a whole apple. Weary. I feel weary and tired. Goes. The boy goes out of the house. Word decoding requires students to figure out and choose a nonsense word from those shown on the screen. Now listen to this word, and then click the mouse pointer on it. Bisha. Bisha. Loat. Loat. Frame. Frame. The spelling component requires students to spell a given word using the on-screen keyboard. Now, try some more. Wash. You wash your hands. Still. Keep still. Fright. On a dark night, the cat jumped out from behind a wall and gave me a fright. Conditional on achievement in other reading components, the comprehension component assesses the student's ability to make sense of text.
General Maths requires students to solve mathematical problems. Here is part of a wall chart that lists numbers from 1 to 100. Below is part of the same wall chart. What number should be in the box with the question mark inside? Look at this sum. Now click on the answer. The figure shows how Mary spent her time one day. What percent of time altogether did she spend playing and doing homework? Mental arithmetic asks the students to perform mental calculations. Developed ability is all about non-literacy or numeracy based skills. It gives an indication of the student's readiness to learn. Communicating Communicating Graph Graph Hourglass Hourglass The Attitude Scale asks students how they feel about reading, maths and school. I look forward to maths. I like learning new things in maths. What do you mean by adaptive? This simply means that the assessment will adapt to the student's level of ability. The assessment will begin at a level appropriate for the student's actual age. Depending on whether a student gets answers correct or incorrect, the program adjusts the difficulty level of the questions. The questions range in difficulty from those appropriate for children 4 years old through to 17 or 18 years old, providing a large range to allow a good assessment of a student's ability level. How much time will this take? Each component will take about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the ability level of the student. Stronger students will obviously see more questions, so their assessment may take a little longer. And teachers do not need to sit one-on-one -on -one with students for this assessment, and whole classes can be assessed in computer labs over a shared network. The teacher does not need to invest time in marking papers or generating results. This is all taken care of online, with your feedback provided in 24 hours. Assess each student once per academic year. You're free to assess and submit groups of students at any time of the year.
and any new students can be assessed as soon as they arrive. They will be added to your existing class data within 24 hours. How do we get our feedback? After you have completed assessments, you will follow a simple process to upload your data to our secure website. 24 hours later you return to that site and download your data, which is presented in Excel format. There is comprehensive support available to you to aid with interpreting your data. The manual provides a feedback guide with easy visual instructions on how to read each part of every chart and table. Schools who adhere to the three annual assessment periods receive a report written by Incas Australia staff who have taken the time to analyse and interpret some of your data. Data days are offered for teachers who are able to come to UWA Perth. Online video tutorials will guide our interstate and regional schools on how to interpret their data. Standard feedback outlines the student's actual age and age equivalent scores in all the components you have assessed. The age comparison chart is a box and whisker plot showing the spread of ability in a class, year or school. The individual score charts highlight areas of strength and potential growth for each student on each component. The individual longitude charts show a student's growth over time for each component. The difference tables outline the difference in years and months between a student's actual age and their age equivalent score. Are there support materials to help us use our data? There are two free booklets written by Peter Timms and Christine Merrill, the creators of Incas, to support you in using your Incas data to guide instruction in mathematics and reading. If you have some questions or would like to sign up, please feel free to contact the project manager, Joe Faulkner, via email. You might also like to visit our website, shown on the screen here. I look forward to helping you gather reliable and useful assessment information about your students.